Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss case number two of omitted mirror bend in closed traverse when the length of one line and bearing of other line is missing. So let's discuss the second case in which the length of one line was not measured and also the bearing of other line is not measured or we can say that it was not possible to measure the length of a line and the bearing of another line in any closed traverse. So let's say that we are having a closed traverse of six lines. This closed traverse start at point A and also come back to point A. So in this closed traverse, you can see that the length of BC is missing and bearing of DE line is missing. You can see the length is not known. Here the bearing of DE line is unknown. So in this kind of problem, how we can determine the length of one line and bearing of another line in any closed traverse. Before I proceed to next part, let me tell you that I have posted the quiz from this video. You can scan this QR code to solve the quiz. If in any case, if this QR code is not working, you can go to the description where you can find the link for quiz that is related to this video. So to better understand this case, we are going to solve example related to this. So this is the example that we are going to solve. Here we can see that there are four lines are there where the length of DA line is missing and the bearing of AB line is missing. And it is being asked to determine these using the concept of closed traverse. So let's start solving this example. So in order to solve this example, first of all, we are going to draw the sketch so that we can have better understanding with this example. Here we cannot start with point A because the bearing is not given. So we are not sure where this AB line would be heading. So let's say that we are starting at B point and uh, we can see that the length and bearing of this BC line is given. So let's say that this is the BC line having length of 80.5 and bearing of 140 degree and 30 minutes. Similarly, we know the length and bearing of CD line so that we can draw the CD line. So length is 60 meter and bearing is 220 degree 30 minutes. Similarly, we don't know the length of DA line, but we know the direction of the DA line. So we can draw the DA line. So this will be the DA line with the bearing of 310.10 degrees 15 minutes. So this length should be determined and the bearing of AB should be determined so that the length of AB is 100 meter and the bearing of this DA line is 310 degree 15 minutes. So now you can see that this will be the end point, the A point. We know the exact direction of DA line, but uh, we don't know the length. It means we don't know whether the A will be over here or here or here or anywhere else on this dotted line. Therefore, looking at uh, the closed traverse, we can see that we can have a possible AB line like this or possible AB line like this. So if uh, this will be the case, then the angle would be in the northeast quadrant. But if this will be the case, then in that case, the quadrant would be northwest. So both are possible. Now let's start doing the calculations to come up with uh, whether we are going to get the line in northeast quadrant or whether in northwest quadrant. So in order to solve this problem, we need to determine the latitude and departure of each of the line. We know the length of AB line, which is 100, but we don't know the bearing. So we keep it as theta and that is variable and we have to find out that for PC we know the length which is 80.5 also the bearing which is 140 degrees 30 minutes similarly we also know the length and bearing of CD the length is 60 bearing is 220 degrees 30 minutes for the DA line we don't know the length so let's keep it as variable as capital L but the bearing is given which is 310 degrees 15 minutes for latitude, we know the formula is L cos theta. So latitude for AB line would be 100 cos theta and departure is being calculated using L sin theta formula. So 100 sin theta. So for BC and CD line, we have length and bearing. So we can have the values of latitude and departure for both of the lines. So on doing calculations, we are going to get the latitude and departure of these two lines as 
for DA line, we don't know the length, so it will be in terms of uh, capital L, the latitude and departure. Latitude is 0.646L, departure is minus 0.763L. Now, we know that in closed traverse, we have uh, summation of latitude equal to 0 and also the summation of departure equal to 0. This is because we know that in closed traverse, the starting point and the end point is same. In other words, you can say that wherever we are starting, we are coming back to the same point. It means the net displacement is 0. So if it is so, then we can take advantage, like in, we can have two equations in terms of theta and L. So adding all the latitudes we are going to get and adding all the departures we are going to get. So let's say this will be equation number one, this will be equation number two. We can further simplify it since we cannot do anything with theta and L. So these two terms can be added or subtracted. So on doing further simplification, we are going to get the revised equation as so these would be then equation number three and equation number four. Now in these equations, we can see that there is two variables, theta and L and two equations. So we can solve it, but we will be using some basics of mathematics. Like if we square these two equations and add them together, what we will be getting is cos square theta and sine square theta. So adding them with the same coefficient, we are going to get value one. So all the equation will be in terms of L then. So let's do it. So on squaring, equation 3 will become and equation 4 will become. So let's name these equation as equation number 5 and equation number 6. So adding them, we are going to get sine square theta is plus cos square theta because we have same coefficient. So this term will become 1. Then we will be having equation in terms of L square and L. So the final equation will then be so now here you can see that we have a quadratic equation. So this quadratic equation should be solved using the quadratic equation formula. So on uh, utilizing the quadratic equation formula, we are going to get two values of L. One is 145.82 meters, another is 12.05 meters. So both these values of uh, the length of AB line is possible. Now if you put the value of uh, the length 145.82, in that case, what we are going to get, we are going to get the latitude and the departure both positive. How I am saying it? So these values should be placed in these equation, equation number three and equation number four. So where we are going to get the latitude and departure values actually, the latitude and departure of AB line. So when you are going to put the value, the first value, then we are going to get both these true both these equation 3 and 4, their values of 100 cos theta will be positive and also the 100 sine theta value will be positive. In other words, you can say that the latitude and departure of AB line is positive. It means the line would be lying in northeast quadrant. But uh, the other way around, if you put the value, the second value, then what we are going to get, you are going to get the departure value as negative. The 100 and sine theta will be equal to some negative value. So when it is a negative value, it means the departure is negative, latitude is positive. So if you recall the basics, you know that that quadrant would be northwest. If you recall what we have discussed before that uh, the v line AB could be lying in northeast quadrant, the line could be lying in northwest quadrant. If we take the value of length of AB line as 145, then in that case, the line would be lying in northeast quadrant. If you're, if you're going to take the value of line AB as 12, then in that case, the line would be lying in northwest quadrant. So I'm doing the one calculation only. I'm doing for the 145.82. You can do it by yourself for the 12.05. So when you put the value of L is equal to 145.82 in equation number three, you are going to get 100 cos theta as 13.539 and 100 sine theta, it means equation number four, on putting the value of 145.82, you're going to get 99.02. So let's say that this is equation number seven and equation number eight. So we can simplify this. We can divide equation number seven to equation number nine. And doing so, we are going to get 10 theta because sine theta over cos theta would be equal to 10 theta. And on dividing 99.02 with 13.539, we 
we are going to get 7.31 and on simplifying further we are going to get theta as 82.21 degrees so that will be the answer so we have calculated the length as well as the bearing of the required lines so this is the bearing when we have used the length of 145.82 similarly you can do it by putting the value of 12.05 in equation 3 and 4 you are similarly you are going to get this these two equations but the different values so you are going to get the different bearing ultimately so this is how the problem related to the case 2 of uh, omitted measurement is to be done i hope you have got the concept if yes then you can solve this quiz very easily so scan this code go to the google form answer all the questions on submitting the google form you are going to get your points that you are going to obtain in this quiz so this is all from this video. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in next coming videos. Thank you.